There are a lot of ways to build a video graphics adapter or VGA for a computer. If we want to explore how video output works, we can build a breadboard VGA card using an Arduino Nano microcontroller. The Arduino is not the first choice for video output due to its memory and speed constraints, but it is fun to play around with and costs only around $5. It comes with a beginner-friendly IDE and there's a big community of Arduino users. So let's give it a try. VGA output has already been done in different ways on Arduinos. It has been shown that a stock Arduino Uno is capable of generating a resolution of 160 monochrome pixels horizontally. I mean, that's impressive for such a limited device. But what if we want a little more? Let's say we want 320 times 480 pixels with a 60 Hz refresh rate. That will lead to a text output with 40 characters per line, each character being 8 pixels wide, like the 1980s Commodore 64. And we want some processing power left to write to the video RAM or do some I.O. in the background. Let's see how we can achieve all this with an Arduino Nano and three logic ICs. In the next couple of videos, we are going to explore the necessary design steps of building our own breadboard VGA. So let's dive right in and take a look at the VGA specification. We generate a synchronization signal called VSync for vertical sync to tell our monitor to start to draw a new frame. We also generate a horizontal sync signal called H-Sync to indicate the beginning of each new line. Both signals are normal 5V active low logic signals, meaning that they are high or 5V for most of the time and are only switching to low for the duration of the sync pulse. Let's take a closer look. One frame takes 1 16th of a second or 16.667 milliseconds. And each frame is divided into 525 lines, starting from the top to the bottom. So that leaves about 32 microseconds for each line. The vertical sync pulse takes the first two lines. After a waiting time of 33 lines, which is called the vertical back porch, we can send our 480 lines of pixel data, followed by another 10 lines called the vertical front porch. Let us generate our vertical sync pulse using timer 1 of the Arduino with a prescaler of 1024. So let's output a low level for one clock tick followed by a high level for the remaining 259 clock ticks. The output pin of timer 1 is pin 10 of the Arduino. If you want to learn more about using Arduino timers, I highly recommend to read the datasheet of the AT Mega 328 microcontroller of the Arduino. As we have seen before, a line takes about 32 microseconds and each line is divided into 800 pixels. The duration of a single pixel is about 40 nanoseconds. The horizontal zinc pulse takes up the first 96 pixels, followed by the horizontal back porch of 48 pixels. After the back porch, we send 640 data pixels, followed by another 16 pixels called the horizontal front porch. Let us generate our horizontal sync pulse with timer 0 of our Arduino. With a prescaler of 8, let us generate an interrupt every 64 ticks, so every 32 microseconds. So in the interrupt routine, we can generate the horizontal sync pulse, wait a bit, and then send our pixel data. But wait a minute, we have a problem here. The minimum duration of a machine instruction on our Arduino Nano is a single clock cycle, or 62.5 nanoseconds at 16 MHz. So, in principle, 
the Arduino could output around 400 pixels per line. But to make it worse, there would be no time left to access memory. So we can't draw anything meaningful. For drawing characters onto the screen, we need time to fetch the current character from the video RAM, get the character's pixel data and shift out the pixel data to the monitor. That's simply too much for the Arduino Nano just by itself. The idea here is to use an 8-bit parallel in serial out shift register like the 74HC165. It has a parallel load input to copy data D0 to D7 into its register. Upon each rising edge of the clock pulse, CL, this data is then shifted out bit by bit via pin Q7. We provide a new byte only every 8 clock cycles, so that would buy us the time to read new data from memory. Let us drive the shift register with the Arduino system clock. So it is outputting a pixel every 62.5 nanoseconds or 320 pixels in 20 microseconds, which fits nicely inside our VGA spec. However, timing is going to be critical since we need to load new data in our shift register exactly when it just became empty. Otherwise, there will be a gap between characters on our screen, which we don't want. That leaves us with three tasks to solve in the next video. Number one, can we fetch a new data byte every eight clock cycles? Number two, how to get the timing of the parallel load of our shift register right? And number three, where to get the Arduino system clock from?